What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, on today's episode, I wanted to talk about products, detailing products I use, and just a rundown of what I have in my closet and what I keep around. Um, I don't really use everything that I have, but I have a cart that I use that this would be just for the majority of products I use in a car. And then I have some specialty products that only come in on certain jobs where it needs that extra, like, Oof, or I need to fix uh, restoring plastic, uh, trim, certain things like that. Um, so I'm going to show you around, show you a few things, um, some of the products I use and what they are for. So let's see. All right, guys. So this is the card I use. It's from uh, Adams Polishes. You can get it on their site. I think they have the new one now where it's foldable. It's more a lot more convenient. Um, this for me is just fine now. Um, and you can pretty much organize it how you want. So there is no particular order of how I have it set up. On the bottom, I have basically some um, drying towels and this tool I use to clean glass and dry it up. So up here on the top portion, um, some of the products I have is IGL Dash. To me, it's probably, it's my new favorite as far as dressing up the plastics on leather um so it's a dashboard and panel protection it smells really good goes on very shiny but it has like no residue almost no residue some of you guys know about this um the owner is a family-owned business this product it's kind of like unique and all the things you can use it for because you can use it on paint chrome glass leather plastic and it gives it a great shine but it's also a dressing. It, it's an all-in-one product, kind of. That's kind of why the reason they use it as an all-in-one detailer. So I'm not a fan, Chemical Guys, but this is one product. They have this one and they have the regular scent. This is just one product that just works. You can use it on glass. You can use it on dashboards, navigation screens, and you can use this on TVs. So that's something you probably never heard of, but this cleans TV, TV screens really good. Any LCD, LED screen. Wilt Cleaner, we have here my favorite, Brake Buster. Um, some of you guys know about this, but it's a really good product. Uh, it has a, I guess like a rust inhibitor. So if your rotors or any uh, components in your brake system or your wheels don't get, um, rust surface rust from the wash process this is a uh, express interior cleaner this is a pretty much a um i can say all-purpose cleaner from pns very good on leather very good on plastics um this is just one of the smells i have from adams i have a few others on the, on the uh over here on this bench thing whatever i call it so don't mind the label but yes, this is an iron decon. And basically in here, I have this. Some of you guys know about this. And even though this is an Eagle One product, uh, very affordable. And it's used as an iron fallout remover for paint. Also on wheels. Detail spray. Oops. Detail spray. I get these from like the uh, mystery bucket, so I use them. But I'll have this and then I have here and this bottle. I think it's called Shine Gloss from PNS. What else I got? So this is from a uh, local shop. They made a high gloss spray wax. It's all right, you know, it does the job. It works, can't really complain. This is just basically for any of the basic detailed clients that I'll get. So we're gonna get down to the really good stuff. So this is uh, IGL Premier. This is a six month protection on the paint by itself really good stuff this is my favorite here this is what i call the uh bread maker or the the sauce some of you guys know about this this is a uh, g technique c2v3 also a six month protectant on, on the paint surface so some of you guys know about Bean Maker. Bean Maker is one of those type of products that you can use it to protect anything. 
wheels, glass, plastic, paint. Um, doesn't last super long, but it's just a hell of a product. And the slickness and gloss it leaves on paint is ridiculous. Um, for glass cleaning, spray away. They do sell the uh, can version, which has like the foaming and whatnot. And that's all right, I guess. Depends on you know, depends on the person. Brush. This is a um, a vinyl leather brush. It's it's kind of weird. I just started using this, but it works very very well, especially you combined with the Express interior the, um, cleaner. Gives a nice lather and uh, makes quick work of cleaning plastics. Some of you guys know about this. It's a Lily brush. You use it for pet hair. Makes quick work out of it. Uh, these are some of the brushes I have for, my, for interior. I have a lot more, but this is what I keep at hand whenever I need it. Something like this, I'll use for the seams of uh, leather seats, cloth seats to vacuum very well, clean it up. This I'll use for dusting. It's very soft, so it doesn't scratch up all that piano black trim from like certain cars. This I'll use for different plastic crevices just to clean up. So we're gonna get down to the lower portion here. Some of the things I have down here. This brush in particular, whenever I'm using a uh, dressing that spray like Aqua Shine from uh, my chemical uh, supply to these guys up um, Port St. Pierce. Uh, Port St. Lucie, my bad. This is Car Pro Pearl. This is probably my favorite dressing right now to use on tires and any type of trim. I have here also Chemical Guys Bare Bones. This is very good for undercarriage. Not a fan of Chemical Guys, but this product is one of those that just works. Foam applicator for the tires. This right here is a gel form tire shine. Use it a bunch of times. I'm almost done with this bottle. And it gives that gloss and gives no like sling at all. See what else I have here. So this is a uh, Adams megaphone thing. It is. I tried it a bunch of times, and I gotta say, the most foam I've ever gotten on a uh, electric power washer. Right here. What else I got? This is McKees 37 SIO2 Auto Wash. Very good for ceramic coated cars. For those who know about this brand. This is from Zephyrs. They make a very good uh, metal polish. This is like this all-in-one type metal polish that kind of like uh, cleans, polishes, and protects. So it's good stuff. All right, here we have Meguiar's Heavy Duty Vinyl Cleaner. This is one of these type of products where some might know about and some don't. But this is very good to remove any of that paste wax residue that's been left on plastic trim um that's pretty much the only thing i use it for it's more of like a niche product for whenever i need it or on these like plastic trims on the doors that have fingerprints works pretty good uh what else what else what else oh here's my foam cannon this is the big mouth the only reason i got it because it was red and black i really want to get the uh, mtm with the stainless steel. It's my sticker on there. Oh, and here it goes. This is my all time favorite soap. This is from the PNS, uh, double black rainy dough. This is Pearl. If you, some of you guys know about this, but it is not the most viscous product. It is very liquidy, but I, I would have to say it's the lubrication on here is crazy. And it just works. It's one of those things that just works. All right, let me turn this around. So here is my leather treatment that I use from PNS with the, uh, with the pad. And, some, and this is the Terminator finisher and carpet bomb, I think it's called. Yeah, so these guys are a three-part system. 
you basically comp- you combine this with Terminator um, to tackle those hard stains on cloth seats or any type of upholstery. And then you finish it off with finisher, which is a peroxide treatment to make sure you don't get any restaining um, or getting any smells from human and stuff like that. And that's pretty much that. So next, let's look at what I have on my shelves. And we'll go from there. All right, guys. So we're going to take a look at all the gowns that I have and some of the products that I keep on my shelf. Some of you know, I am certified with PNS on using their products and their training. Um, so I'm a big fan of their products, not only because I'm certified, but mostly because of the fact that their products are affordable to not only consumers, but professionals also. It's not a type of line where you need to be a professional to use it and how to use it. It's very workable, it's very easy to use. So that's just pretty much the reason why I went with them to begin with and why I use them so much. So here, just gallons of bead maker, express interior cleaner. This is a pearl soap, but I'm not too worried. I got a five gallon container down there somewhere. Yeah, it's hiding, but it's there. Super clean, gotta have that super clean. It's a very great product. This is finisher, break buster, terminator. Got some more stuff back there. This here is a glass cleaner from Manette's Mega Shine. I have it here, but it doesn't have a label because I got it before labels started coming out. But yeah, let's go ahead and now show you this product here. So I'm almost done with this, but this is called Chocolate Thunder. It is made by uh, Car Candy. Um, has to be the best wool cleaner you can buy. It. I wouldn't say it's the safest wool cleaner. I would rather use this on some aftermarket wheels. But on some heavy beat up wheels, I'll go ahead and attack with this and this will break down anything. It's also good as a good uh, surface prep in case you have a car that has like traffic film, a lot of dirt and grime on it that hasn't been cleaned in a long time. This will definitely make your job easier with the wash process. So let's go down here. Some metal polishes I keep in buying. This is a racer from 3D. It's good for uh, like an acid gel i guess solution finish you got to have that uh, this is probably the best way to restore any trim um it's not one of those products where it's just going to dress it up and it's going to get all messed up the next couple of days this is actually and you know a permanent solution to your problem more bead maker let's keep going down so this is basically some of the protection this is wash coat have another bottle here. So wash coat is a unique product from Nanolex. Wash coat basically, um, it's like a, the type of product you're gonna use on your foam cannon after your wash process and foam it up and it'll protect the whole car. Apparently it's really good for ceramic coated cars. It makes, your, it makes topping easier. Here I have Polish Angel. Polish Angel is very unique. It is a, uh, Advertised as a one-year protection sealant uh, And it's handmade in Germany. This is not a type of product where you know, it lasts a long long time Like the shelf life is only like three years. It comes with a label and everything of how long Very expensive for such a small bottle. I'll tell you that and I've used it maybe three four times For some of those who've ever used HD epoxy and 3d speed Great product, just doesn't last too long, too much work. Barely use this, to be honest. This is a product where I got just for the hell of it. This is Sonax Polymer Net Shield. Uh, they advertise six months of protection, up to. It's it's a spray can. It reminds me of uh, Meguiar's Fast Finish. I'm sure is basically the same chemistry. Um, Meguiar's Fast Finish is a really good product too. It lasts a very long time. It's very affordable too, to be honest. All right, let's put some of this stuff back. All right, so this is PNS Book Off. Now that we're in this the type of season, we have tons of bugs. This thing just destroys bugs, man. This thing is just spray and rinse and it's gone. 
undercarriage spray. This is just like the chemical guys one. This is for like undercarriages, you know, get those black plastics looking good. Right here we have IGL Delete. This is a basically an acid cleaner, but it's very good for uh, water spots. You can use it on glass, you can use it on paint, but you, on glass you gotta be very, very, very delicate with and be quick. IPA spray, alcohol basically, mixed with water. This is a super degreaser, but on my cart, I also carry super clean. Here I have more of uh, the Eagle One Plasti Coat. These are some of my acid cleaners. Uh, this is from Nano Skin. It's from a local shop. Yeah, acid cleaners are very used. It has to be like when I'm working on like chrome pipes or chrome wheels. Um, where they take advantage of breaking down all that brake dust on chrome. This is a uh, shine gloss, I think it's called from PNS. I'm just getting rid of all my atoms before I start to use the good stuff. <laughs> Doesn't matter, detail spray is a detail spray. So, this is that glass cleaner. This one actually cleans and protects, which is really not bad. So nice glass cleaner. Whenever you're trying to, you have a lot of grime, I would say this is the go to thing. Some dressings I have, angel wax. This is a plastic one for the interior. So this soap, it's some leftover washing wax that I have. I don't use it. This is probably I use it for my mom's car whenever she wants to wash hers. That sounds stupid, but yeah, her paint's awful. She never listens to me. All right, so this is a. Uh, McGuire's all-purpose cleaner. I have the gallon, so this is the bottle. I just put it in, put it in, dilute it. Um, so this is a product you guys never see. Uh, next, this it's not from the U.S. It is from I think Germany, but this is basically like uh, PNS's Express Interior Cleaner. Um, from what I hear, review-wise, and from what I try, it works very damn good. Uh, I can't complain about that. Let's see what we got back here. That interior condi uh, cleaner from Adams. And I think I have the spray pump ones back there. Yeah. Here is a specialty product. Uh, this is from Dr. Beasley. Dr. Beasley is that type of brand where you never heard of, but when you need something in particular, they have it. So this is a micro suede cleaner cleanser. This is good for suede, uh, Alcantara, those type of materials where you're very delicate. This is a very good cleaner for that. It, it comes in clutch whenever you get these cars like Subarus or some of these Mercedes that come with Alcantara. This is the Nasdaq, Nasdaq um, I think leather dressing or whatever you call it, but yeah. Some more smells. I'll get back to that. It's a new product. Final rubber cleaner and conditioner. It says it all. Some DPC armor. I've tried it. I haven't tried it in that many cars, but just from my personal use, I felt like this product clogs up too much. Um, a couple of rain showers and it was just not sheeting anymore. Don't know if it was a bad batch or what the hell was going on, but I still have it and I'm going to get rid of it. This is from any cars that I get or whatever that is a plastic dip. These are just some of the compounds and polishes that I have. 3D1 is my go to right now. It's just one of those type of products that it's, uh, I guess, cut dependent. So it really depends on the pad, it depends on um, pad polisher, that, those type of things for your cut and how much polish you use. Perfect finish, one of the best finishing products. Use a very little, goes a long way. Uh, what else, I got some Playmaker there. I got HD Plus and HD uh, Polish Plus also. You really don't even need these two anymore with this, with 3D1, just my opinion. Got my steamer down there. This I don't use anymore. This thing is 
horrible. Um, gotta have a little blower for to blow all the water, all those crevices and stuff. So this is the pressure washer I use. I got a 50 foot hose. I use an RV filter to just cut down on my um, on the water spotting. Even though I do work underneath a roof, but it helps to get cleaner water, especially when you're you're washing people's cars and stuff. This is the the snub nose I use is the MTM. Comes with a bunch of uh, stainless steel parts. That was a really expensive part. All right, so here we have some towels that I use. Different mitts. Here I have a bunch of my uh, three inch pads. So as far as pads, um, my go-to is Buff and Shine. Um, their line of pads is just like, it, they work man they just work and you and they're workhorses it's the type of material that they use and the glue and the adhesive they use is just insane i've had um mcguire pads and they just turn into crud so these are some of the dirty pads i have so the mcguire's pads they tend to the adhesive from the back here tends to go bad from um too much heat yeah, and some people will say, no, you should, that's because you're putting too much pressure and this and that. If you're trying to cut, you're trying to cut. And I don't care how much of a soft backing you have here. It, it just tears up apart. I can grab one of these uh, finishing microfiber pads and go to town with it. And they're not going to they're not gonna choke at all. They're, they'll just keep working and working and working. So here I have where I store some of my 5-inch pads. Some coating application stuff, and then this is the auto fiber, auto fiber coating uh, application pads. These are really good. These are, these come in handy. Vacuum some lights. This is a uh, ozone machine. Um, this is one of those type of products where if you have a car that's been smoked in, has very bad smells, and you want to get rid of it, this is the machine to do it. You got to clean the interior really well, and then run this inside. And you're good to go i think overall that's about it There's, there is a few more things that i do use that so like for example this i use this for my own personal car yeah when i get lazy i don't want to bring this thing out all right so finish off the video let's talk about um let's talk about the brushes that i use for wheels so this is a little bit of my bucket setup one is um so some people use the two bucket method with one for washing and one for um i guess rinsing off and whatever but since i'm using multiple mitts i don't go that route i use about five mitts four mitts so i can get around the whole car with that but as far as for wheels, Speedmaster brush for the wheelbarrows. I have the small one for some of those, uh, whenever you get those big bamboo brakes, you gotta get right behind it. You can get it with this. Lug nuts, face of the wheel, detail brush. It's a tough shine brush. This is just for tires. This one came from, um, Adams, Adams polishes as a wheel cleaner. It's not bad, especially if you have those, you know, big wheels that you really want to, you know, clean you know, do the faces and stuff and get it done quick. What else I have? So I have an ugly mitt. I use this basically for um, uh, the faces and those little hard to get crevices. And this will be only used for wheels and nothing else. And wheel wheel brush. Gotta get right underneath there. Get rid of all that nasty crud from underneath the wheel wheels. So the last thing I wanted to talk about was this product. So this is PNS's Rainy Doyle's Double Black Inspiration Fabric Coating Protectant. So this product is a fabric uh, coating basically. I don't know exactly how long it lasts. I guess that all depends on what you put in it on and how much traffic it gets on. But if this is just like, um, I think it's G-Technique Smart Fabric, I think that's what they call it. I would say it works phenomenal. 
you can use this on your shoes on your clothes if especially you have um some jordans that are fabric you can spray them on let them cure overnight and the next day they're just waterproof if you get ketchup mud or whatever all over them you can just literally just wipe it off and doesn't stain the cloth but yeah that's pretty much wraps it up about some of the stuff that i use not to get into too much detail on certain things like for example up there my polishes uh my polishers I'll, I'll get more into detail on that mostly on some of the, the machines i use and why i use them what pads i set up on certain cars and depending on that that'll be a different video but for now we're just going to talk about overall some of the products i have and what i what i use them for and pretty much uh, that's, this is yeah, what I was saying. Yeah, that's about it. All right, guys. So you guys saw, um, you saw some of the stuff that I use for my uh, detailing uh, work that I do on the side. Um, I always like trying new products, and some of them actually make it to my lineup where it's what I use for the day and day. Some of them are just either too expensive and not really worth it. But for now, this is my setup and this is what I, what I like to use. So, all right, guys. Catch you guys in the next one. See ya.